we are at our favorite local in Cooper Sporting. A new clip. Notice any difference from the hot hammock shelter? This is the iciest I've ever seen this trail. Basically it's just frozen mud. We're out testing some new gear, a new recipe with the Trangia, and we are happy to be sharing it with you. Once again, we're releasing the hounds. So come on in, the water's fine, huh? Some new additions to the uh, Trangia 27 7 cook kit. Just a couple added things. Titanium plate. Titanium spork. Titanium mug. So one of the first ideas I came up with for my Trangia cook kit Besides the titanium plate, so we're using this, right, as a pot grabber. Well, if you're using it for the lid and you turn the lid upside down, it's a little hard to get at. So I came up with something really simple. That's a suction cap, and you can use it as a pot grabber. That easy. And yes, we do still have to use <laughs> the pot grabber for the coffee. I actually need that water to continue to boil. In fact, I need to add a bit more. And that's for lunch. All right, so our water is boiling. Let's add the carrots and potatoes. We'll bring that back up to a boil. Cabbage. Put our lid back on. Let that boil and steam away. I've moved things around a little bit just to get everything evenly steamed and boiled. And yes, it's going to be corned beef and cabbage. Those key can openers that you get to open these particular cans, they never seem to work right, so I used my good new Victorinox Swiss Army knife with the can opener. Got this through uh, Avoiding Chores YouTube and website from my buddy Jim. Went online through his channel and ordered my very first Victorinox Swiss Army knife. It's already come in useful for opening cans of corned beef. So there's my 
cabbage, potatoes, and carrots. And we will add the corned beef. And of course, butter. There it is. Corned beef and cabbage with the Trangia 27.7. That is awesome. Hey, Cooper. And Cooper got a little bit too. <laughs> <laughs> 